All right, hey guys, we're here. We are going to show you how you can build a judo to fit your needs with it, your weight, whatever weight you want on your arrow. But these are judo tips. These are the most valuable tip ever made for an arrow, and they let you stump shoot, rove, shoot at leaves, grass, anything you want without fear of losing them. The original judo says we have here are the best ones. They're tempered right, and their arms last a long time. Very quality, but... A lot of people think you have to get them in a screw-in, which is 130, 130 grain models. What they come in is a screw-in, or what is their glue-on, I don't remember. Uh, this is a 141, so it's a 140 grain uh, glue-on model. But what if you shoot heavier arrows? What are you going to do if you want more than, you know, you're shooting carbons, you need a screw-in, but you can't get that kind of weight that you want out of here. Like I said, so we put this on a scale, 130.8. Okay, that's what this comes in at. Well... This one here, we put on here 140. 140.8. My scale might be off. A, well, let's check it here. Let's see. 771. Or 771. Uh, what is that? Oh, we're on. Yeah, grains. Uh, I don't know what that's supposed to be grain-wise. I got to probably calibrate it with something other than grains. But we're going to leave it. Call it, call it pretty good because that's pretty close. Uh, 140.8 is what this is. So what do we do with this? To build up the weight. Actually, these should know too, because that should be, I know this one here should be 75 grains exactly. Let's see. 70, well, hang on. A little unstable here. Let's see. Are you going to stay up there? Come on, stand up. 75 exactly. So it's, it's spot on. Okay. So we know we got 140 grains right here. What if we take one of these little aluminum insert adapters, okay, screw in, and that slides into this. And now we have one. What does that give us weight-wise? 166 grains. So if you're shooting something, you need 150 grain, or you know, you'd be at 140 on a glue-in, a 130 on a screw-in, a 165 basically on this one. And if we went to the full-length one, okay, what what weight was that? These little ones. Let's see what that is. 25 grains. I don't even get these in a 42 grain also for the aluminum ones. That was a little 25 grain. What's this one? This is the 42, right? What is this? 43 grains. So if we take a 43 grain one and put it on there, that gives us 185 grains. So that's kind of nice right there too. So you see you can go, uh, we went from in a screw in, we got a 130 option, 130 grains. We got a 165 grain, 166. Okay, and we have a 185, and then we can go to the steel inserts. Here we got a 75 grain insert. We put that steel insert in there. Now these just glue in, okay? You just hot melt or Gorilla Glue, whatever you want, and stick that right in there. And then you can heat that up and pull it out if you ever want to change them. That gives us 216 grains. Okay, close enough for 200 or if you're shooting two, you know, again, it doesn't have to be exact. Uh, anybody, th you know, if you're shooting anything over 130 grains, when you start getting into 200, 150, 200, 250, 300 grain point weights, it doesn't matter if you're off by 10 grains. It really doesn't. And if you think it does, you bumped your head. Um, so, but here you're at 216 grains with that 75 grain insert. We go to a 100 grain steel insert right there. Puts us at 240, Okay. Or we go to this one right here, which is 125 grain, puts us at 265, okay? So we have a 265 there, or a 240 here, which is what I shoot, 241 actually, 241.6, but I shoot a 250 grain head. So this is the combo that I use for 242 grains, basically, 241 grains, that's what I use for, and I shoot 250 grain broadheads. Okay, so you could go all the way up to maxing out here to a 265 grain broadhead or head. If you shoot 300 grain heads, that's going to be close enough. You're not going to notice any difference. That 40 grain or 35 grains is not going to be that noticeable difference wise. Um, and uh, these are solid, but when you look at how far up into there that goes, you could probably also take a lead slip weight, uh, you know, a little pinch weight from uh, fishing and melt one and drop it right down in there and then put this in there and you'd probably be right at 300 grains. So you can run a judo all the way in a screw inversion all the way from a 130 grains, which for you guys that shoot 125 grains, perfect, okay, 
all the way up to again taking that and dropping in a, a little bit of lead from a you know from a fishing sinker that you get for a, a penny you know just drop or heat it up and drop it in there and then glue this in there uh that would probably give you uh to close to 300 or heck you got enough room in there probably just pour an epoxy inside of there uh you know wadding it up with glue would be enough to give you that extra 30 grains in there so uh like i said you'll be able to get close enough to shoot up to from from 130 grains to 300 grains on a judo so there's really no reason to not take advantage of using these things they're absolutely amazing they do a fantastic job love what a judo is capable of and like i said any one of these you glue in it's, it's just that simple um, but the glue on ones i only have like one or two of these uh and i i had them for when the kids were using them because they needed 125 grain heads 130 grain head right there but these give me so much versatility but the reason i shoot a uh, 250 grain broadhead is 250 grains is basically what I can get out of these judos. So I build my arrows to accommodate this. Now, that was back before they had these 125 versions. Now that they got a 125 version and I could be at 265, again, could almost stretch that to 300 by filling that in with some lead in there. Um, you know, some shot or something like that and melting it down or, again, lead, lead sinkers, uh, you know, line pinch line sinkers, I don't remember what, like a split shot. Okay, you could take a split shot and, and uh, you know, melt one down and drop it or heat it up, drop it in there and let it set or drop it in there with some epoxy. You'd probably get your 300 grains without a problem. So, uh, judo, absolutely amazing and very versatile and this is the way to be able to get that weight you're looking for out of it. The other cool thing while I was just out here and I was making that I made, uh, just to throw in my pack if I wanted to, but check that out. You guys know I make my own Kydex. This took me about five to ten minutes to whip out real quick, uh, but it is a Kydex holster for a broadhead. Now I can carry a spare broadhead if I want to in my pack or in my truck or anything like that. Remember, I'm out hunting hogs sometimes all day long too. And if I miss once or something like that, lose that, whatever the case is, but I, I just don't want to resharpen an arrow. Or if I'm deer hunting and I drop my arrow off my string, it hits the ground, sticks for, you know, vump right in the ground. And now that arrow's dulled out in my opinion, I have a way to be able to carry a uh, another one here with me and fit it in here. Hang on, let me get it this way because of the screw. There we go. And, uh, but I have a way to carry one in my pack. Just a cool little thing that I made. If you make your own Kydex, you can do some really unique and cool stuff. And I didn't even have to oven heat this. All I did was cut out a little piece of Kydex, heated it right here on the cutting board with my, uh, my heat gun, and then just folded it and just mashed it down. It was pretty easy. So uh, nothing crazy or hard about it, but just a cool little, uh, you know, a little holster for a broadhead. Right there like that. <laughs> just so simple and easy. And, uh, you know, there it is. It's, not, it's designed to snap in a certain way. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. But anyway, there's a judo tip for you. Being able to take your judos from 130 grains to 300 grains by using all of these inserts and adapters. Lots of options. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.